Hi, today we're going to be doing an unboxing, taste testing, vape review of Liqua Berry Mints. Premium vape liquid, Miss Berry, 30 milliliters, which is a 1.0 ounces. Let's just combine a fresh strawberry juice, combine uh, a combination of fresh strawberries, juicy cherries, tart grapes, and tangy switches combined in a berry mix flavor. So, there's where you could go to the website to check out more flavors and stuff. Now here to show them that it goes into like a little vapor e cigarette, almost like the uh, if you know my uh, ego e and then you know space go ego brand, that's kind of what it looks like it goes into, but it's not. Now this is actually a French brand, so well Italian one. I said French, it's actually Italian. So yeah, Italian flavors right there. Made in Italy. Little Italy. So it's an Italian one. Powered by OptV Technology Literate.com. So I'll put that website down below in the description along with uh, that one. So dot com forward slash chat and just that one. Those two down below in the description there. I don't know what, but that looks like a QR code, so if you want to go ahead and scan it, maybe it'll bring up the website or not, I don't know. But yeah, let's take a look at it. So here's what a little bottle looks like. Doesn't tell you the strength, but I believe it's feet. I'm getting tongue tied here. I believe the strength is 3 milligrams. I'm not sure what the strength is. It doesn't say the strength. All it says on here is how much juice you get here. So 30 milliliters of juice but the strength I don't know doesn't say oh wait why on the back why on the back it says free mg free milligrams it is a free milligram so yes we are safe to put it in the smock area little vaporizer here because the strength that this one takes is 3 milligrams as the strongest and the weakest is 0 which is nothing so we are within the range 3 milligrams of strength 3 milliliters of juice we're good to go so this does not actually open up like you're supposed to uh, twist it and break the seal it doesn't open up that good so you kind of have to take a knife and kind of break the seal. Hopefully you can see this on camera. There we go. So you see what I'm talking about the seal right there? That's holding on and connecting the cap. I mean the cap does not come off easily. So I was sitting there twisting and twisting and twisting off camera. It would not come off. I was like, you know what? I have to cheat. To my trusty little hobby model knife here. Snip, 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 snip. Four little snips. And I was finally to get this off. I was ready to throw this bottle across the room, hit the wall, fall on the ground, step on it. I was like, the cab is not coming off. But a uh, little trip up, little trip out there. Use a knife to get your cap off. Just break the seal because the seal does not twist to break off. You actually need to use a knife to cut the seal. So that's what I was doing. Mmm, smells pretty good. Like uh, mangoes. Uh, what else did we get up in here? I smell some strawberries. Wait, did it say strawberries? Yeah, strawberries, it says cherries. Mm. 
Yeah, maybe a slight hint of cherries, uh, tart grapes. Maybe, maybe a faint set of some tart white grapes, like a uh, white grape Philly or white grape Swiss Sweet. That's what I could roughly tell you that the scent is close to. And it's a uh, tangy Swiss so I don't know what the tangy Swiss 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 Swiss. Yeah, I can't say it. I'm getting tongue tied. Swiss Swiss. Ah. You know what I mean. Right there. Tangy citrus fruit. Right there. I'll just show it to you because every time I'm trying to say it, it's like, bleh, bleh, bleh. it's like, come on, did someone grab my tongue? Because I can't say it. No matter how hard it is. I'm just getting tongue tied because I would want to go in there and hit the vape and tell you how this actually tastes. But offhand, the sense, because I know my local tobacco shop, they're like, man, before you buy this one, we got one that you might want, you know, to buy, but, you know, before you buy it, they'll usually go ahead, unscrew the caps, and it's like, taste it with this, see if you like the scent. So I'll be like, <laughs> <laughs> all like hound dog in it, and like, come on! Let me just snort that by my nose. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> Trying to get a sound bit. I'm like, nah, that one, that one smells nasty. So I know the flavor is probably going to be nasty. No way, but uh, this one, they're like, well, it's not blueberry, but because blueberry was like 50 cents butts for like, a little 15 milliliter bottle and the strength would not even work for my vaporizer. They had 6 mil and 12 mil, and this can only hold 3 milligrams on the strength. So it was like, you know, this one I think was like 7 bucks, I want to say. Something like 7 bucks for this. So I was like, man, this smells pretty nice. That actually smells like a flavor that, you know, I would be willing to try and vape. So. Let me get this open. And we'll go ahead and fill this thing up. Now the bottle does feel a bit sticky compared to others. That's just the way how it is. Like what I mean sticky, I mean like Spider-Man, like this bottle would not come off your fingers. Obviously it does, but As you can see, I'm kind of moving around with my thumb and stuff. Well, let's go ahead and get this thing going before my battery dies on my camera, which is about to. Alright, let's go ahead and give it a try. Mmm, nice. This is actually nice. I love it. It's a good little flavor. Not overpowering. The scent may seem a little overpowering, but flavor-wise, yeah, it's kind of on the weak side. But yeah, there has been an unboxing, taste testing review of Liqua Mitzberry flavor liquid vaporizer juice. Matt, wait, subscribe, and like, comment. All right, thanks. Bye.